Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So today I am again back with one new project. In today's project, we will be learning how to create a menu driven program which can do four actions like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. You might have one question in your mind. How exactly in industries you will be using this? So in the similar way, you can create multiple programs where you will have four different type of actions like creating the file deleting the file as well and many other use cases can happen in the industries as well so first let us learn the basic how exactly this menu driven program can be done programming can be done using cell scripting and once you understood this maybe in coming days we will be learning other projects related to this statement as well now for this there are two prerequisites first you should be aware about the case statement in cell scripting and then you should be knowing what is function in cell scripting. So these two concepts we are going to cover by using this program. First thing, let us learn what is function in cell scripting. So a function is a block of code that is reusable and performs certain operations like any other programming language. Cell scripting also supports functions. Functions are popular for many reasons. First lot of time you are using certain kind of actions which is common so writing a function can make reusability of code easier the second thing comes to our minds readability of your code will be much better so if you are repeating some lines again and again instead of that if you are creating a function so reading your code will be much easier it makes your program more modular and maintenance is also easy because if your code is 1000 lines and 300 times you have repeated something. So instead of that, you create a function and call that function again and again. So this is going to make the maintenance of your code much easy. So there are two ways to create a function. One way is you have to give the function name and then a small bracket start with curly braces then and close the curly braces and in middle of these curly braces you can write your commands other way is you write function keyword then your function name here you don't need the small brackets directly use the curly braces write all your commands or statements and then close it so there are two ways but i always feel easy this method like function name and then a small bracket and then start with the curly bracket so we'll be learning how to write the function how to call the functions these all stuff we'll learn but before going into that let us first see the case statement so you have a option which we have already done if else statement and multiple if elif statements which can perform a multi-way branch However, this is not always the best solution, especially when all of the branches depends on the value of single variable. Cell supports case statement which handles exactly this situation and it does, does so more efficiently than repeated if elif statements. So see, whatever the task if elif statement is doing, similar tasks can be done by case statement as well and it will be more easier doing the case statement so what will be the syntax of case statement let us see so syntax will be case and whatever the word in keyword then you will write the pattern you will write your statement and then two times semicolon again the another pattern a statement then two times semicolon then another pattern your statement two times semicolon and then you are writing a star this is the default section where again some default conditions and then semicolon two times and to close the case statement a statement just opposite of case is e s a c so you will close it a, sim a similar way we were doing in if else statement right so if and in the last we were using fee so the same thing in the case statement case opposite is e s a c so you will close the case statement with e s a c so now instead of wasting our time now let us directly jump into the program now let us see how case statement is going to help us so we are creating a calculator how we are doing let us see the first line we are writing is bin bash this is c bang line we already know about it 
clear is a command in Linux which helps you to clear the screen. So this program will just clear the screen. This line. In this program, this line will clear the screen. Echo statement, just to make it look better, we are just putting echo and then just these lines in the double quotes. Then again one more echo and here we are writing a message, welcome to calculator. Again one more echo, just we are making few more lines to make this welcome statement look a bit better. Now this echo is very important, let us understand. As you all know, echo command is used to print the messages whatever you are writing there. But I am using one option echo hyphen e. What is this hyphen e? Hyphen e, what exactly it does? Whenever you will write these kind of expressions like slash n, slash n, slash n, this slash n. What exactly it is doing? It is ignoring these. And what is meaning of this? New line. So you are telling that in first A option, give me addition and then go to the new line and print option B that is subtraction. Similar way new line, option C multiplication and then again new line, option D is division and again after division one new line. So what hyphen E is doing, I will show you the actual use. So you can type a command, man command and whatever the command about you want to know. So man means the manual about echo command. So you see one option is hyphen E. Enable interpretation of backslash escapes. What exactly it means? That if you are writing the backslash, here examples are also given. If minus E is in effect, the following sequences are recognized. Like you are writing this backslash, it will exactly what it will do? It will recognize the actual meaning of it. It will not ignore it. It will realize the actual meaning of it. Similar way, slash a, slash b, we have slash n also, new line. So what exactly this echo is doing for us? Now let us see. So this hyphen e option is making sure that this actual meaning of slash n is performed here. Means it's not ignoring, but what it is doing? Actual meaning of slash n. Actual meaning of slash n is new line. So after addition, it will do go to the next line. Otherwise, if I am not giving hyphen E option here, then what will happen? It will print the same line exactly. So, what this slash N is doing? It is going to the new line, again going to the new line and hyphen E is recognizing the actual meaning of these commands. So, I hope now this echo command is clear. Next is read line. But before read, let us try this echo first. So what we are doing, echo hyphen e addition. So you see the first A option is addition, B is subtraction, C is multiplication and then D is division. Suppose I am not using hyphen E here, what will happen? Let us see this. So it's not realizing the meaning of new line. So it's printing everything in the single line. So now I hope minus E or hyphen E option is clear. Now. Next line is read hyphen p. We have discussed about read already hyphen p is prompt. Whatever the message you are writing here, it will prompt those messages. So read hyphen p and then you are telling a message, enter your choice and the actual variable name is choice variable. So what you are telling that prompt me where you have to tell enter your choice and then you will enter your choice explicitly there. So now actual case statement is starting for us. So case and then this choice is a variable, right? So here we are calling the variable using dollar choice. And then case syntax was in operator you have to use because you have multiple other choices for case. So in, in will take all of them at once. So the first option you are telling, this is the pattern. So your pattern is a small a or capital A in a square bracket you are writing and then this a small bracket closing it. So in A option you are telling that enter the first number, read hyphen P, enter your first number, num1, read hyphen P, enter your second number, num2, and then in the result what you are doing, result dollar and then you see again a small brackets. I have explained the meaning like with dollar a small bracket, whatever 
is written actual value of this is going to come so num num1 will have one value num2 will have one value so these two values you are putting here and then actual operation is performed so num1 plus num2 will be added and in the result variable you are storing and then you are printing a message the result of your choices and then we are calling dollar result so the dollar result will be called what this dollar result will contain sum of num1 and sum of num2 and as per the syntax double semicolon we are putting here now first choice is gone second is b if somebody is uh, typing a small b or capital b again it will read two numbers num1 and num2 in the result what it is doing num1 minus num2 means this is subtraction storing in result and again we are printing the result again closing this b similar way in c pattern in the c choice we are reading again two numbers in the result variable what we are doing number one multiplied by number two and then in the results we are again printing closing this going to the next d what is d in the d sections we are again reading two numbers and then num1 divided by num2 and then we are printing the message that this is your choice now the last option like if somebody who is not selecting any of these specified options like a b c d then we have the last option a star in this means if it is not matching any of this then we are telling if anything else apart from these choices you just print a message wrong choice and close it close your case statement so this is simple case statement now let us run this program and see how it's working for us so our uh, our program name is calculator.sh so calculator before calculator dot slash calculator dot sh now welcome message is getting printed and then you are getting four choices a b c d suppose i am typing a so it's telling me to enter first number first number is 10 second number suppose 23 so you got the message the result of your choice is 33 so here we have typed the small a we have given as an option a small a or capital a so now try capital a again one 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 so result is 22 so arithmetic is working perfect now let us use division so i am using the choice d first number is maybe 21 second number is 3 so the division is working perfectly so it's giving us 7 now what you understood how to use the case statement so let us see the program again so the what was the syntax for us syntax is case dollar whatever the choice you are reading in and then all the choices in in the last with a star we are telling that wrong choice so let us try the last case also so here we have calculator this time you have to not type any of the choice so suppose i am typing 10 so it's telling wrong choice because this is not matching with a b c d so it's telling that this is our wrong choice so this is one of the simple use case of case statement now in next lecture what we will learn that these reads are repeated again and again here you see read is repeated again here you see read is repeated again read is repeated so what we are going to do the same program will be picking and we will implement the function using the similar program and we will see how function is making our code readability better reusability of code better and how efficiently we can manage our code that's it for today's video thank you so much guys